Euro FX futures opened the session moderately lower. It appears that overflow from yesterday's ECB statements with regards to inflation and that it's not going away anytime soon. Also, Lagarde, who I'm paraphrasing, but said we're not going back to the days of low inflation. But also a uh, Reuters report uh, that the ECB, in an effort to cap um, government bond yield spreads, are going to be buying Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, and Greek bonds with the profits made from maturing bonds from um, Germany, France, and also Dutch bonds from the PEP program. Get into uh, the bulk of our session, price action reversed. We actually saw Euro FX uh, on the positive side mid to late day. Um, European data fairly good today. May's unemployment rate unexpectedly dropped uh, to a record low of 6.6%. German May retail sales also beat. Um, German, German's uh, May import prices eased very slightly. On the other hand, U.S. data was a little worse than expected. Uh, May's personal spending uh, rose less than expected and also a slower uh, increase in expected in May core PCE deflator. Uh, initial jobless claims, though, about in line, and Chicago's PMI dropped to a one and three quarter year low. That said, we saw uh, stocks here in the U.S. struggling and uh, the dollar overall uh, starting to go lower against most crosses. Going into options, I look at CME Group Seaball. Um, August uh, volatility, a one-month basis, about the 50th percentile. At the money vol, moderately higher, although skew is slightly lower as the down variance or put wing is up more versus the call or up variance. Um, option volume fairly spread out today, seeing volume in the August 105 strike, followed by the 107 call and also 103 half put area. Now, lastly, um, micro futures or, or mini futures, Euro FX mini futures volume, fairly, fairly heavy today. Yesterday's volume was 6,099, open interest of 12,888.